When choosing your secondary profession, think carefully because this choice is permanent. There's no going back. False. You can actually change your secondary profession and I will show you how. Okay, so you might want to change your secondary profession so you can try out a new build, or maybe you're wanting to cap some new skills for your heroes for some OP team compositions. The process to change your secondary profession is a little bit different based on the campaign that you're doing it in. For prophecy characters, you'll need to ascend. Faction characters become Wei no Su, or Closer to the Stars, and Nightfall um, just complete the quest called Hunted. Sorry, no fancy term for you. Most people refer to your character as being ascended once you've completed one of the three processes. For our purposes today, we will just refer to you as ascended once you've completed your campaign specific process. Let's start off with prophecies. You'll become ascended after completing the story missions in the Crystal Desert. This is about two thirds through the story. Once you've completed the mission Augury Rock, you will have become ascended and can now change your secondary profession. This can be done for free by completing a quest for your desired secondary profession. If you want to be monk or ranger, you need to go to the outpost Seeker's Passage. For monk, you will take the monk's path. For ranger, you will take the ranger's path. Quest givers will be on the screen. If you want to be an elementalist or a necro, you will go to the outpost Heroes Audience. Elementalist will take the elementalist path and necromancers will take the necromancer path. Kind of see the trend here? If you want to be a warrior or a mesmer, go to the outpost Destiny's Gorge. Warriors, take the warrior path. Mesmers, take the mesmer path. If you don't feel like completing the quest for your desired secondary profession, you can travel to the Great Temple of Balthazar and talk to the profession changer, who will change your profession for 500 gold. You will also have access to the factions and Nightfall specific professions. Okay, for the factions characters. You'll need to complete the story mission Napui Quarter, which is the fourth story mission in the campaign. After completing this mission, you'll find yourself in Sinji's Corner, where you can speak to Sinji and he will change your secondary profession for a fee of 500 gold. There are no free options for the factions campaign. The profession changer will also be available in the Great Temple of Balthazar at this time if you prefer to use that method. If you're looking for the fastest option to get a character to the point where they could change their secondary profession, Factions would be the one that you should choose. Factions is the fastest paced campaign in the game. Prophecies is the slowest. Okay, how about Nightfall? Nightfall characters will need to complete the quest Hunted. You will receive this quest after completing the Consulate Docks mission, which is the fourth mission in the campaign. This quest will lead you to the Sunspear Sanctuary in Korna. Once done with the quest Hunted, you will need to take the quest The Command Post. This is a three part quest, but you only need to complete the first part, building the base Prisoner of War, which is a rather short quest. You just need to go kill some Korn guards and it doesn't take that long. After doing so, you will have access to the Profession Changer in the Command Post. So if you own all three campaigns, you can have your character travel to one of the others to complete their process there, with the exception of Nightfall. The process for Nightfall is for Nightfall native characters only. You'll reach a certain part in the story where traveling to the other continents becomes available. For Prophecy's characters, it's when you unlock Lion's Arch. For Faction's characters, it's when you get to Kaijang Center. And Nightfall characters, it's when you unlock the Consulate Docks. Another side note, once you have purchased or unlocked a secondary profession, it does not need to be done again. You can freely swap between your secondary professions when you're in an outpost via your skill window. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped. Uh, if you've enjoyed, please hit that like button. Leave a comment if I've missed something that might be helpful. If you wanna see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. I also have a playthrough of Guild Wars 1 going up on my channel right now. So hit that subscribe button if you don't wanna miss out on that. But if not, I really appreciate you watching this video and making it to the end. Honestly, that's enough for me. Thanks again, see ya.